Hello and welcome to Imperator Rome. My name is Menteris and welcome back to Super Asia, our great created nation, regional power. And well, in the last episode, we were attacked kind of brutally. Still don't think they are a match. Let's see. Got, we got 20,000 archers and double the chariots and way more foot soldiers. But we did lose some of the battle just because of our IA. Well, we'll just have to wait it up and uh, let's start and try to end this world because it doesn't really fit my needs and there's no way I can get it. So, which are the armies we can control this one let's unify the armies a little bit get them all to the combat zone because we were kind of planning something else but well this war just started at the end of the ep last episode can we do anything of trade because we still got one trade route left and well nothing nothing we can do Right, so we still got a little bit of negative research, but well, there's nothing really we can do about that now. Maybe later on in a few episodes we are able to pop up those pops. So let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, the opinion, yeah. This is who we are in war with. So I guess we're first going to try and take the north. I'm always getting those map modes messed up. And let's see if we can do some damage. Two in very high, that's not going to help. Alright, let's unify it. some of the Troops, we got two clan, three clan troops, so I guess merging will not be an army. All right, let's move in and take the northern area first. Try and get somebody out of that war because, well, five or ten K troops less is definitely making it quite harder for them. Alright, let's wait for all the troops to get in position and let's take a look at what the AI is doing in the meanwhile. Yeah, can we take no no that will I want to take the capital. Need to regroup my main army, make a second strong army because my allies also have like well 16,000 troops so that should be enough to take down some of the armies as well but they're kind of scattered around come on come on move 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 Right, so we got, uh, what's it, thank you, right, well, doesn't really matter, let's take the next, they're already training up troops again, and we got all our troops in one position, 11,200 men, let's move them in. More troops are coming, so we need to be a little bit careful because there's like 14k troops in the south and my allies aren't being famous for helping me. Alright, can we take them? Yes, they're moving back. This would be a perfect fight if we can catch them. 
And some of my allies are moving in as well. But will we be able to take them on time? Yes, this is what we want. Small little war, and eh, we got one of the generals. That's a good thing. One general taken down. A few more to go. Is that smart? No, 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 don't do that. I need to take a look at my army at the north because there are 13,000 troops, 17,000 troops. Alright, so now we're definitely going to move in. They're spreading out, moving back. So we need to, no, we need to be careful. I don't want to mess this up. We need to send the troops to re reinforce or at least support our main army. Even though the main army is a little bit smaller. Ooh, what's the druid culture? I don't no, I don't want local unrest or what are we going to opinion we we do need them so yeah well we we don't want the unrest at the moment cannot have it will not have it all right so the Army is in support. We got minus 21 in taking the city. Let's try. Oh, I was hoping I was able to take down that 9k, but I need to move around because of the throne of control. Come on, take the fortress. That's what we want. I guess some of my allies are going to get a little bit of trouble. Maybe we can get there on time, give them a little bit of support. Would make it a lot easier if we are able to take down some of their cities and some of their smaller armies. Because they are spamming troops like crazy. Right, there's this 17k fighting. Well, there wasn't really was something we could do. They got more troops. Oh, yeah, they got more allies in it. Hmm, that's not good. That's not good. So we need definitely need to get some people out. If we can get that one out, it would be damn nice. Now the war is a little bit more in their favor and we cannot build up more troops. Money is a big problem at the moment. I'm not that rich. Being a regional power isn't that easy because there are many regional powers that can become your ally. And all those small, well, little boys are kind of annoying. Come on, take the damn fortress, speed up. That's a kind of a little bit annoying because he took the land for him, uh, himself and not for us. So we can kind of only take the left province and not that one. That, that's damn annoying. And now that province is taken by our other ally and also not given back. Right, let's see if we can take down their army a little bit. Because there are a lot of small stacks down there, but there's also a 22k and a 11k. We definitely need to get split that army up. This is a risky move, but... Would be nice. Oh, the 16k is moving in. Oh, this is a problem. This is definitely a problem. Even though my army has a better morale, but the 23 is definitely something we cannot take. Oh man, this was a bad move. This was definitely a bad move. I want to get that army, that, that guy out of the war, but somehow he feels kind of, kind of strong. How 
Can they still be that strong? Can we sue for peace individually? No, there's no way I can force that land so it belongs to me or something like that. No. Mm. Alright, let's take a look. Can we get... The, yeah, we can get them out, but... I only need that that land. I think it's the only area I cannot vassalize them. That would have been nice, a vassal that size. Well, we only take that area and get them out, get some money. What are we going to do? Hard choice, hard choice. How much money can we get? 78. Is it worth it? Let's take a look. Yes, yeah. Well, we... We shouldn't. We, we should do it. It's the only way. It's the only way. That way we got like one small land and we got a lot of troops out of the war. Right. What? We need a man power recovery. So let's do that one. Can we do anything else? Well, we're definitely losing troops there. Thanks to our great ally, so a big defeat. And now our nice ally is losing 4k troops because of that. Yep, that was not the best performance in combat. Alright, let's regroup a little bit. And we got a land dispute. Which one we need, which one we don't need, or maybe claim it for ourselves. We could use the money. Yes, let's do that. See if we can import some more stuff. Nope. Kind of strange, because I was expecting that we would be able to do that. But maybe it's a bit too early game for that. Alright, let's see if we can take down some small war stacks. Taking down that 7000 troops, that would be nice. Yeah, this is a good battle, finally. We are finally taking down some troops. Kind of funny to see that they got the chariots in the center. And more troops incoming. Can we take them down as well? More is slowly getting low, but we'll get it. More victories for us. Do not lose too many troops. They did lose all their land troops, their foot soldiers. And another 1k that came in late. Let's destroy that one. Alright. Getting the money from those guys that we took is kind of life saving because now we're a little bit in surplus and. Another little fight. I love how they they fight. They, it's it's looking so nicely. But where is the army? Why is it not giving the numbers? All right. So we got a few wins. We got another general. And we're finally breaking their back. Although we still got some stupid allies that are not knowing what they do. We can still not get people out. 
What? What? Oh, we are in a second war. Oh, this is a bit of a problem. Definitely a big problem. Two wars is not a good thing. Uh, let's see. What? What is going on? Can we? I kind of want to see who it is we are fighting. You're trying to backstab me. Alright, so get my armies to that area. And I kind of need to sue the other war, uh, do a white piece or something like that. Because that, the land in the north is more interesting. Definitely for our decisions for Greater Iberia. If you want to create the Iberia, we need two of those lands. Uh, let's see if we can... They are medium, so... Can we sue for peace? Yes, we can. So let's peace out. And they accept it. And now we are on our own in that war. Should be a pretty fair war. Because we are low manpower. That's definitely one of our biggest problems. Mm, well, they got a little less arches, but they're, they might have a lot of more people. And can we call in people? Why are we alone fighting? We don't have any allies. Can we call them in? Can we make allies? No. We could offer them a light, but regional power is kind of pain in the ass at the moment. So let's see how are we going to do it, because I guess we need to pull back a little bit, let them come and take them down one by one. Maybe use up a lot of money. Country merchants, this, this is a risky move. It could backfire if we move those armies fast and let them take one area. This might be a possibility if we can, uh, can kill most of the armies with the mercenary army and after that disband it or something like that. We are definitely in a good spot. Alright, let's see how this is going on. Oh, 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 oh that's going to hurt. I got like two ships. Huh, interesting. Don't really care. Let's try and take down the 3k with the 16k because we are so low on moral that that's definitely a big problem. They got reinforced and we're moving back. Yeah, let's try and take down that 3k because they're sieging. And they're moving away again, so it's kind of playing hide and seek, try to catch them. And that's quite annoying. And a lot of things are happening right now. We got some deaths. We, oh man, oh man. Uh, let's see, we need some order in the chaos. Let's first do a few things. First, we need a war chief. And I guess you aren't going to be dead. Are you loyal? Kind of tricky. Yeah, but you got nine skills. So let's use you. Now, let's see. Our first battle with our mercenary army. That should be an easy one. That should take down a lot of the troops we captured warm. And you guys need to move. Yeah, that way. Let's try and take down as many troops as we can. Another 2k are going down. And let's try and get our armies back because, well, we need to carpet sheet them as fast as possible. Because that mercenary army is burning our money. Burning our money a lot. We definitely need to try and do something about our money situations in the next episode. We definitely need to do that. A meeting of the clans. Alright, who is going to be the clan leader? Alright. Well, there isn't... A tribal leader. So, alright. So now we have a new tribal leader. And... Let's get our army back in.
Throwing carpet sheets them as fast as possible. Try to take down some of the main armies and take a lot of generals. And get my main armies in. So the mercenary army should do a lot of work. And we need some new generals. A lot of things happen during this war that aren't quite handy. Let another army down, let's move it, come on, come on, come on. I don't mind if the army is getting totally crushed, because we are running low on money. There's no way. That we can sustain that mercenary army. But we do need the soldiers to take it as fast as possible. Kind of worrying me because I don't know what the mercs are doing in this game. I know in some of Paradox games they going to attack you because you're not paying them. And if we have that with this large army, we are in a lot of trouble. Minus 27, so it will happen soon. And I don't know what's going to happen. Are they just going to leave us or is it something else? I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's take some land back and try and start sieging some of their lands. Let's see, we got a religion proceeding. Slow down the game a little bit. Let's see what we're going to do. We could definitely use stability. Yeah, let's, let's do the stability. Another war one. Already in 24 in the plus with this war, so we're not doing that bad. Definitely not doing that bad. So let's just take the land we need and then peace out. As you can see, my general is a little bit better than the general and also our combination of troops. Better but yeah, that reinforcement is. <laughs> Are we going to make it on time or not? Are you guys going to reinforce us on time? It would be real nice, real nice. Yes, let's take down those troops. Now that we are in the minus, let's see what's going to happen. Because I never had this experience. Getting in depth. Let's take down this army. Right, so they are on their own, I guess. They're still my army, but they are going to do what they want. I don't know how safe that is. Just banning them will also cost me a lot of money. So I wonder what they are going to do. Alright, let's see. Let's take a few lands. Got some coastal areas blocked. I don't mind about that. But we're losing, still losing a lot of money. What are we going to do? 
Going to disband it. What can we do? I really don't know. Gonna never disband a unit this way. But we are slowly winning the war, so we... Oh, we are getting... What is this? Oh, we get money events. That's damn nice. And anyway, we can... Disband them this way? No. Right. Let's see, we need to take more land. Because suing for peace and getting some money will definitely help out. But we also need to get rid of this army because it's killing us money-wise. Minus 22 every tick. That's, that's killing. I think Mercs isn't maybe the best way, but it was for now the only way. So, what can we do? How can I disband this? Should be somewhere in here. Alright, so that's the disband button. Alright, I guess we do need to do that. That's going to bring us in a a lot of money problem minus 200 <laughs> 213 oh my god let's get us some new generals let's try and end this war because well we can take that city it would be really 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 nice Even our vessel is not going to help us. Alright, so we get all kind of events that give us money, but also have a negative thing. There's the Merc army going back. I guess to the starting province. We're slowly getting um, well, money events. Can we... So for peace, anything? We already got like plus... 40. Hmm. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's speed up. Let's try and take the province, hold the war, win a few more battles. They're slowly sending in some troops. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to help them. And another one. And another win for us. Oh, another money event. That's nice. That's nice. Slowly getting our money situation good. Or a little bit better. And another money event. This, this one did kill Pops, but there's really nothing else we can do. Alright, so... What are we going to do? Oh, nice. We won the seats. Can we get more land? We definitely need more land. And another money event. This way we are getting into the plus pretty fast. And another money event. Alright. Nice. 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 We got a pretty nice war score. I wish my vessel to the left nord would help me, those blue guys. That would really, really help. Right, which one? Well, that one, alright. And the white piece is imminent, so we really need to do something. Sue for peace, get a lot of money. What else can we do? Can we take land now? Will they accept that? And another, another money event. All right, good thing. So what can we do? How can we take? Alright. They accepted it. 
So we kind of split up their land and... Well, that's always a good thing. Now, I guess we need to recover a lot. We need to take, I think, one portion of the south. And we need to take a little vessel land. Uh, well, that's something for the next episode. Definitely something for the next episode. Our, nice, our land looks pretty damn nice. So let's take one of those choices. Oh, where is it? There it is. And yeah, this one, the Great Iberia. That's the one I want. And as you can see, we only need a few more lands. One in the south, our vessel's land. And well, it's kind of annoying that it changed colors every time, but we, we only need a few more lands in that area and that will definitely do it. And at the end for the greater barrier, we need to take it all, but well, we don't know if we're going to make that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. I definitely did enjoy making it. And I hope to see you guys at the next conquest where we're going to try and stabilize our land a little bit. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next video.